What's up, everybody, and welcome to Game Over Game On. Game Over Game On is a comedy podcast centered on video games, geek culture, and all things awesome. Oh, shit. And I am Grant McClure. And I am Jacob Lay. That's right. Yeah. We're trying something different if you're a long-time listener, first-time caller. We don't have a phone. You can't call us. <laughs> I'll never have a phone. You can't uh, make me. No, no phones. It's just no like, phones. I want to be like that guy. Like, um, I want to be the really weird, like, dirty... Nasty. Do you ever watch like you ever watch, wooden woodland? I just want to be a woodland. I just want to be a dirty, nasty woodland creature. You know, <laughs> Did like, you ever watch like New Girl? Fucking squirrel. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I want to be like uh, Nick from that show. He doesn't ho- have a phone. Yeah, he's like, I, I, I could be the guy with no phone. I'm that guy. <laughs> or he goes to the bank. He's like, What's a bank? You know, it's just a wallet with walls. I'm that guy. <laughs> Don't be that guy. No. Actually, I don't know. Don't be the crazy person who buries all their money in the backyard, and then when you die, all of your children have to go, and they're like, do you basically pay all your grandkids? Like, whoever finds money gets $20. Unless you're a dickhead. Go dig some holes. <laughs> Little shy la boof boof. Or go dig a hole. Some of the stories I've heard of people like their grandparents like hid money in the walls. So then like when they per- <laughs> the die, they just have to go in and just knock holes in Dude, all the walls. What a shitty thing to do if you like I died. I'm leaving you my house. It's an amazing house. My life's fortune is buried in the walls. You have to smash all the walls till you find like one like trunk. You open it and it says, gotcha. <laughs> Be a good joke. Just, that's that's playing the long game. That's playing like mm-hmm. the long con. And I'm it's just great. down in hell, like fuck you. Yeah, it's just playing the long con, like a good long con. That's it's good. Like gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so for those who don't know, for those just li- just joining, just listening, if you're all that you know formal bullshit, um, we have a website. It is GameOverGameOn.com. Yee. You can find us there. We also are on podcast services around the globe. iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music. Rate us there. Like us there. Helps us out. Helps us with uh, people exposure. Helps us with exposure. Help exposure. me. Help me to expose myself. Help people need to help me. <laughs> people need to help me expose, expose myself. My, my dongus. My new donk city. My new donk shitty. I'm still gonna call it New Dong City. I know it's New Donk, but you, you can't you can't stop the jokes. Once that joke train has left the station, ain't no stopping. Ain't it. no stopping to Berlin. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no brakes. There ain't no brakes on that Donk train. We're going across the ocean. Trains don't go across the ocean. How they do today? This one does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like we were saying, game over, game on. We're on iTunes. Uh, we're on podcast services around the club. iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music. We're on other various things. I found I like podcast websites. Didn't even know we were on. Yeah, but was, we're there. That was actually really. That's cool. That was actually really fun. I was like, oh sweet. I don't know who did that, but thanks. Yes, thank you. What is it? Um, I don't know. There was I know Breaker? we. Were, yeah, Breaker. The, Breaker. We were on Podcat. I don't know what those are. I didn't do that. Someone did. Thank you. It's like a wildcat, <laughs> but it's a pod. It's like. Yeah, well, I can't think of a good joke. I'm not funny. I try to be, but I'm not. Oh, excuse me. That was Jake just vomited. He just farted with his mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shit myself with my mouth. Excuse me. I just excuse shit me. all over my mouth. Shit in my mouth. Blah, blah blah. And yes, and now the cool thing is that you can find us on YouTube. You yes. just type in the Go Go Show. The Go Go Show, and we're there. You can find us. First channel, baby. Yeah. So. Love peace, chicken grease, and all that stuff. This is the end of the episode. See you guys. See you. Lather yourself up. <laughs> no, no. This. Uh, Make sure you're not allergic to baby oil before you get weird, please. Yeah, or latex, or would it, it? Wouldn't it be a tragedy that you you somehow find out that you have a latex po- like latex allergy? Yes. When you're in the middle of like some nice, like lovely, dirty, nasty, like latex paint, body paint. Kind of six. Cover me in late. Like, cover me. Like, wrap me in latex, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. Ha- like five minutes into the the whole shebang. Oh, shit, like, just, like if you got in like one of those, it's like it looks almost like a bed sheet. You're, but it's double sided. You like crawl in, and then all you have is like an air tube, and then they vacuum seal it, and you're like, mm. yeah. Your lady friend may be or significant other may be really excited because you know what comes with allergies, swelling. Yeah, but yes, but we <laughs> all always the butts. yeah, but all them butts. We always start this out. Nintendo brought the butts. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> With what we've been playing, doing, touching, feeling, squeezing. So, what are you doing, Jake? I I, I can tell you, mine's simple. Well, 
three things. Okay, real quick. Go for it. Um, been playing Persona Five, of course. Yeah, because uh, it's big, a massive it's a meaty, big game, big JRPG, and it's, fi- a, big, uh, it's a big meaty piece of uh, of game right there. Yeah, um, I beat the third main dungeon. Is it the third? Yes, the third main dungeon. It sucks. It was not. It was my least favorite. But Chris was last episode. He was here, and he's like, "Dude, it gets so much better after that." It's like after that dungeon, they get a lot better. He because he was like that. The dungeon, it's like a bank, and it sucks. It really is not fun. And that boss was like me, <laughs> like the f- much like a real bank. Yeah, it was. It was kind of boring and kind of shitty. But after that one, apparently, it gets really good. So. I'm I'm stoked for it. I'm excited. Uh, my playtime says I'm probably 80 hours into it. I'm like 89 hours, but I don't think I've played that much because I think it just counts as it's in rest mode. Yeah. 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 I think so. I feel like 80 hours, you'd probably be a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm only into like August, and you, I have a whole other year. I haven't even got six months into the game. Because the way Personas work, if you've never played Persona... Yeah, the date you start on, you have one year to accomplish whatever the main story goes. So you go through the whole school year. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. So you you no, it's a time management and you go through dungeons and and you you make friends and you spend time with them and you raise your social ranks with them and that allows you to um craft and create stronger personas cuz each character like you make friends with is like the uh, luck persona or the priestess persona or whatever, like the card, like tarot card. Mm. As your social rank goes up, you can make stronger ones. So your bonus as you create them, like you fuse two personas together and you get like a 2.5 or seven times percent, whatever experience you would get. So that's cool. I did not know that. Yeah, it's all time game. management. You can go to school, go to play arcade games, read books. Unless it's counting from like, nah. I, I, yeah, I don't. I, it, can't, it couldn't be counting no. from when you bought it. No, no, it, it's when I first, I think, I I set my, put my PS4 in rest mode a lot, so I just put it in, I save before I do that, because sometimes it shuts off oddly, like, I yeah. don't know. So that's, I, that, I watched uh, Fist Fight, Charlie Day, and uh, Ice Cube, it's awesome, it's funny, uh, also it's um very, please, not close to home, but it, it makes sense because the reason why the whole fist fight thing happens the, the two teachers they want to fight but they they're pissed and angry because everyone's getting fired yeah. because the school system is so underfunded <laughs> so it's kind of yeah. true not by minus the whole f- teachers fighting but the whole underfunding of schools and yeah. stuff like that and kids just overpopulation of classrooms all that terrible shit. terrible children who are probably watching this yeah we hate you. <laughs> no. Like, subscribe. Smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs> As I pour, if I had just plastic all over this room, I'd just pour all this beer all over myself, and then Deshay would get very angry, and then I would have to go take a shower again. You know, it was poor more funny than our face. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, other than that, I uh, watch Fist Fight, and I watch, also watch Split. That's a good movie. And that movie... That's a real good movie. I'm incredible. A bit late to the game for us both to be like, have you seen Split? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me but, too. It, it recently came out to Blu-ray DVD and releases, and you can watch it um, in the red boxes, like maybe a couple weeks ago or this week. I don't know, for recording. But I rented it, watched it, and boy, is it awesome. I mean, what what's his name? James McAvoy? He is acting his fucking ass off. Yeah. God. It's really fucking good. He's in. Incredible. That man is incredible. I'm like, yay, M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, you're re- you, ding dong. You've redeemed yourself. You have. And I'm not going to give it away, but that film has a really sweet, awesome... No, it's not twist, but it's like an ending, the way it ends. And it sets up a some sort of type of universe. I'm trying to dance around it without I giving it, it away. But it's, it sets up some type of universe. Yeah, I know what it of is. Of M. Night Shyamalan, like, like a cool... like. Yeah, so I don't want to give it away. It was a real. I, no it, one gave it away. I'm not giving anything away, but it bases that off of my f- favorite M Night Shyamalan movie. Yes, yes, agreed. And I am really, really excited because there was other news that there is other works, continuations of Split, and that movie come being released in 2018 or 2019. So we shall see. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm, I'm super stoked for it. After that, I was like. When they were doing that, the whole scene, and I was like, and they showed, you know, 
redacted for non-spoiler purposes, and I was just like, oh, oh my God, they're doing what I think they're doing. And I'm not sure I'm going to do what I think he's going to do. And then I started reading online. I was like, oh my God, it's happening. This is going to be incredible. He's I'm so excited. It. He's doing it. It's happening. Woo! But it's not the happening. No. No. It's not the happening. I'm So don't worry. Nah, man. The happening. Man. What the fuck happened? I don't know. I just jumped this fence and there's Jeeps. Adrian Brody's falls in a pit. Adrian no, Brody. no, he's the he's the bad guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. No. You're he the... falls in the pit, doesn't he? Is that's, he the special that's guy? That's the village. Oh, yeah. Happening. Actually, like, the happening's not bad. Yeah, it is. It's not bad. It is pretty bad. Think, think science, douchebag. It is pretty bad. <laughs> but the concept is cool. I always liked the, the concept in it. The acting in it was terrible. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the fuck it was. Well, I don't know what Marky Mark was thinking. He's like, they're not paying me shit, so I'm just going to phone it in. <laughs> Basically. But it's half his fault, half the director's fault. It was just, nah, meh. Nah. But the concept was cool and interesting. That's all I got to say. I think I've said that before on another episode. So that's it. That's all I've been playing doing Touch Middle School. So what about you, Jake? I've been getting back into some backlog shit. Yeah. One game there is no end to. Like I've been playing Rocket League again. Yes. Oh, I did check out the demo for uh what's the text based horror game? Uh Stories Untold. The Stories Untold. I, wa- I played the first one. I was like, "Oh my god, this is awesome. pretty fucking cool, yeah, right?" This is dope. It's dope. They all like they all come to this really awesome conclusion. You need to play it. It's cool. It was like 20 minutes set down the first yeah. House Abandoned. If House you're Abandoned, still yeah. like we've talked about before, it's free. House Abandoned yeah, go is download free. It. Do yourself a favor. Yeah, download it. It's really cool. It is really, really cool. It's a good experience. The whole thing was like, but, uh, Rocket League, actually mostly Rocket League, because don't tell anybody. No. <laughs> I bought like a couple cars just for aesthetics. Yeah. They're like a dollar thirty. I bought three cars. All right. All right. Yeah. Bought the Batmobile. I bought this really just sweet looking fucking like, I'm a cool looking car. Car. And. The fucking DeLorean nice. from Back to nice, the Future, nice. and I use that all the time. <laughs> None of it has it's, any like they don't have speed stats. They don't have. It's uh, all strikes. aesthetics. Yeah, it's, it's all, all aesthetic. The only thing I can find with any of these kind of cars or any of them are hitbox because they are shaped differently. Hitboxes are different. Okay, so if you're gonna be like a striker, maybe you want to be something flat, like a DeLorean. Smash that motherfucking <laughs> like button. <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of Rocket League. Been playing uh, Shadows of Mordor again. Having a good time with that. Getting. I, I need to check it out. I need to. I think like, it's because we it. talked about Shadows, Shadows of War. War. Yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna get reacquainted. I need to. Like I played it quite a bit. I did a lot of just running around, fucking around, and leveling up, and then did some story missions. And I was like, this is cool. Not the kind of and game then, you can go away from for months, and then you yeah, I haven't to probably it. touched in about a year because so I, I'm gonna have to start I, over. I started attacking this guy, and I hit like circle. And it's like I went in spirit mode and like started like hitting him like a million times faster, and I was like, I can do that. <laughs> I, I forget that I can do things. So if if you're going to play an RPG or anything level building, try your best to stay. Like within a few with weeks of playing it from playtime to playtime, because you're gonna hate yourself. Yeah, there's a meme of that, like a video meme or whatever that was floating around, and it was like, uh, it was Gandalf, and he was like, "How I feel after loading an RPG after months," and it was just like, "Where am I?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. That's how I felt when I started Witcher Three for the umpteenth time. Like not from the like I've I'm like sixty hours into that game. I will not start over. So I'm in there, and I'm like, I don't really know what I'm going, but I'm going to get I reacquainted. I don't remember how to control this. How I'm going to get reacquainted with that? How do I call Roach? That dumb fucking horse. And, uh, okay, I uh, just died. So, yeah. It takes a little bit of getting reacquainted, but... But for... and Well, you checked out Life is Strange, correct? I did check out Life is Strange. It is free on PlayStation Plus and Killing Floor 2. Currently, till. Um, July. Yes. That's the pl- free PlayStation Plus games. Mm. Of so the far, month. I think it's a neat game. I've never played it or really looked much into it. I played it. the I, demo and I was like, this is cool. I knew it was very story heavy kind of stuff, but it is neat. Like the re- the rewinding time and. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. 
and Killing Floor 2 is just straight up just horde mode, right? Yeah, horde, like horde mode. Saying. The game you just run through <laughs> <laughs> horde mode, wave. Do you get like way new weapons or make upgrades? It or there's actually a whole lot of you upgrade and stuff like while you're in the game. Okay, there's not like a. I think you can upgrade your. But do you keep your, them your, with you though? Like you upgrade your character and you get to keep your weapons as you play throughout through. until you die. Okay, when you die, you start over. Um, Ooh, now you can do like there's a fuck ton of classes like to different characters to be there's like berserker he just has like a shovel i uh, think a shotgun and a pistol and he's just really strong they all have different attributes so it there is some variety to the game and there is definitely a lot of fun to be had with friends, friends. playing the game but i played solo it was kind of meh yeah. there were some moments of intensity and i'm like oh shit which for a free game that's awesome it's been a it's, I wouldn't it's have, been out it's been out on the for PC a, for a while. Right? It's been out for a long time because uh, Killing Floor was out for a long time, and this is the DOS version. DOS, 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 DOS version. So, but we are probably gonna like one night when we know we don't have to be up ass early in the morning to go to work. We're probably gonna hang out, drink some beers, give it a good old college try with friends. Yeah, play Killing Floor. It sounds like fun. It sounds like a good fun time. Oh, speaking of drinking and hanging out and have, giving a good old college time, our video for. Mario Kart, the drinking game, is up. Yes. It has been edited for your viewing pleasure to 18 minutes and like 15 seconds. I did from my best. two hours and 57 minutes. Yeah. So, right. yeah. The pain in the dick. So, yeah. Thanks, Jake, for that. Give him a good uh, thank, thank you. you. You're, all what, you're so stuff. welcome. I watched it completely. I watched it through once to try to pick out pinpoints. I watched it through a full another time as at, like as I was cutting it. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking time to watch myself drink. <laughs> but I like it. it, it, it it's it's it good. Was, it's a fun time. It was there, a good time. There's some really good jokes. All the good highlights are hit and, and everything. So I'm glad I could be relatively coherent and actually plug things while we did it. Because you ended on the good note. We were, we plugged us and the, the Twitch and podcast and all that stuff. And we were real drunk. Oh, yeah. So I'm glad I was coherent enough to, to be like, oh, yeah, I should plug this shit. <laughs> so, yes. Other than that, other than that, I've n- oh, Shay rocks dabbling in some shovel night. Every yeah. one, like I'm like, oh, I'm feeling froggy. Then I play and I forget that I am at the very last stage of shovel night from a long time ago. Yeah, that's where I'm at. And I'm just like, nope. <laughs> it's so fucking hard. It is. It's so hard. And then I tried Plague Night. Actually, I just don't. I, I don't like how Plague Night works. Yeah, I'm not. A big I, fan I, I of get it. really. I get confused. I guess with his play because. Shovel Knight is so fluid. Specter Knight is really fluid. Plague, Plague Knight like, has like the weird jump off the wall stuff. And, no, right. Plague, no, that's Specter, but that's yeah. actually really fluid. Not bad. Plague Knight is the guy you have to like hold charge and then you jump and then you can boost. Yeah, yeah. And then you throw the potions. He looks neat, but he moves like an asshole. So story of my life. <laughs> story of my that life. man looks cool but boy is he an asshole okay so in this episode it's gonna be uh since we've we're on the the precipice not precipice but we're on the tail end of e3 e3 is over all the news has come out it's any new news gaming wise is kind of trickling out uh sean layton said some cool shit um how he's played death stranding really yeah he said he played death stranding he also said that Did he say anything about death stranding no he just said he played it that piece <laughs> of shit uh he also um I can't remember what the interview, the who, the website, but the, he did an interview with somebody. But he said he's played Death Stranding and all the games. What that, a fucking cock tease of a man! Yeah, all the games that were announced uh, for it said you know twenty eighteen or early twenty eighteen games. They're like half the year twenty eighteen games. Really? Yeah. So like God of War, uh, Days Gone. They're saying they're saying that's what he was saying that they are early twenty eighteen games. And they're they they're, they'll be with be in within not eight to nine to twelve twelve months from that announcement of E three. So it'll be out before the new E three. Those games will. So that's interesting. God of War. I mean, you gotta uh, Spider Man. I mean, all the. I mean, fuck. All the games they show. As you said, all the games showed will be out in twenty eighteen. Nintendo the, also wait, said the, that the, same the, thing. The game shown will be out before the next E3. Yes, that's what he was saying. So that's, you're telling me like Spider Man, Shadow of the Colossus, Shadow of the Colossus. 
God of War. Uh, well, I mean, God of War. I I, I told you last, it, it's going to be around March. March. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not. It's going to be March. I call it right now. I don't. I mean, I'm right there with. They've you. They've done it every year. I think maybe one what? was Did one they... was released out in like June or something like that. Well, it's maybe. because like it was the first one. They're like, yeah. Mm. But almost everyone since then has been released in March. I'm calling March, people. Hand yeah. of God. I mean, I, I, I agree Hand with of God you. I agree with Satan. you. I'm calling. <laughs> I agree with you. I do. Um, also, uh, the things Nintendo. We're, we're going to talk about that. But what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about releases of July. Kind of an overview of E3, really quick. Um, we're going to talk about Metro Prime and the Pokemon yeah. because that's going to tie into what I was previously saying. And we're going to talk a little bit about the MPDs of May. So, so that is our episode. Strap in, hold on to your butts. Let's do it, and let's do this shit. So yeah, what we're just talking about. Overview of E3 and the games that Sony showed will be coming out in 2018. Nintendo did a little press release or an interview with somewhere, and it was Nintendo News Daily. Uh, yeah, I think Nintendo Daily News or something like that. And in that interview, they quoted uh, someone, somebody from Nintendo, and they were like, Metroid Prime 4 and Pokemon Switch. All those games they showed. Pokemon, was it Pokemon? Pokemon. Po- okay, the, the standalone Pokemon the, game the, for the, the Switch. actual RPG. Yes, it's coming out. Not Pokemon the, the, Tournament. The the main title Pokemon game. All those two games. All the games they showed. Kirby, Yoshi. All those games will be coming out 2018. I can believe Kirby. I can believe Yoshi because they showed actual gameplay footage. I can believe that. I could almost believe Pokemon. Honestly. Yeah, if they kind of do like um just a. Better upresed version, right? Of, like the graphics they have for the 3DS right. or something like that. But Prime Four, <laughs> no, come on, you've got. It. it would be great if it did, but it's not going to happen. They didn't show anything; they just showed like a teaser thing. I told you, I've told you, like a few times, and I have it documented here on the show. Last episode, I'm convinced to buy a Switch. The lineup of games look fun. And what I want to play, yeah, is, you're you're uh, gonna you're gonna get key Nintendo titles, and they seem to be really like pushing them out really good. You're not gonna get like one Nintendo game every like six months or something like that. You're not gonna get like a Donkey Kong or Yoshi, like t- two big Nintendo titles once a year <laughs> or twice a year, no. and then you just have that space filled with right. uh, indies or these mid tier games or Minecraft or Minecraft. Fuck you, Minecraft, <laughs> but. I I kind of call it bullshit. Oh, oh, for, I do for, oh, the Metroid I, thing. Yes, for, for Metroid, but the request and the want for Metroid has been so. Oh, high in the United so States, long. yes, for, in the United States, definitely. You don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I don't work at. My dad doesn't work at Nintendo. Yeah, so but like, you, I, I don't know how long they've actually been developing the game. So it could be a possibility. But they didn't but show anything, nothing at all, and that's why that is why I'm like. I don't think they're going to have anything. They're not going to... Pokemon, maybe. They just dropped that, like, hey, we're working on a Pokemon title. Actually, okay. That's actually more... Like, I don't know about that one either. It, now, especially... You, now you bring that up. They like, need they to didn't, do... They didn't show... They didn't show any Pokemon, and they didn't show any Metroid. It was just a guy saying, hey, there's a We're working Pokemon. on it, and then they were like, Game here's break. here's the little teaser thing for Metroid. And now in development, not... I don't know, Japanese, the, the Japanese game developers, they're really tight-knit on their development process. They usually don't expose a lot of stuff. They're, they're just like, hey, now in development, they really won't tell you when it's going to come out. or no. And they do things by percentages. They're like, hey, we're 80% done, or 50 or 60 or you know, three-quarters. No, like It's odd, their development, and how they announce their development. It's like, we're, we're working on it. It's, it's coming out. Like it or not. I mean that's that's it. I mean, so that's what I say. They showed Kirby, they showed Mario, or they showed Kirby and Yoshi and a few things, and they said you know Yoshi twenty eighteen, Kirby twenty eighteen, that stuff. But they didn't show anything for Metroid. That's why it leaves me. It's hard for me to believe that it will be coming out twenty eighteen. Because if they had something, you think they would have showed something? Yeah. Because just even that little little sp- fucking title splash or whatever you want to call it. Gate got so much buzz, but if they had dropped like just just an imp, just a like a twirling around CG thing of Samus, well, like a not not even in the game, like with a Metroid float beside her or something like that, or Ridley coming in and 
Mm. Or yeah, Rip, yeah, Ridley coming yeah. in down or so, something like that. No, he's giving me a flashback boner too, like Super Metroid. Oh, oh, I love microphone. Yeah, but I mean something like that. I mean, if you think, that- but we do have concrete game footage and release date for Return of Samus. Yes, that'll be coming out this year, and I don't remember off the top of my head. September. Yes, it's soon, soon, shit, soon. It's shit. I can't remember the exact date. Sorry, it's September something. But it's 3DS. I'm, just, I'm thinking like 20 second or something like that. I own a 3DS. I'm buying that shit. I don't. I mean, you're I'm a big a, Metroid I'm fan. I'm so. gonna be like, excuse me, Nicole. Like, but I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> Shh. I'm playing Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. I'm like, no, she no. She no. said that. Like, like I told no. her what was like the ultra part about it. She's like, that's dumb. I'm like, yeah, yeah. right. I know. Yeah, I don't know. We don't really. We speculated that it had to do with like some kind of weird darkness armor. Kind of, it, they look dumb. I don't care. I really don't care about Pokemon. Like the, I only, I only, I want it for the Switch because Switch has better hardware and it can run a game better. That's all I want because I played the demo for Moon and it ran like shit, and the game itself runs like shit, and it's just oh my god, it chugs and it doesn't look good, and they re- need to redo their engine. There's so many things that Pokemon needs to come into this day and age. I mean, that's. I mean, I could. It just. Oh. Speaking of demos that was announced at E3 that we have both played. Oh yeah, the Hunt. It's just called no, Hunt, right? No. No, we both played. Oh, we played. Yes, the, was the Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel Capcom Infinite Capcom. story demo that is still on. Uh, I think all all platform all platform yeah. demo version. It it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it a, plays it, like Marvel vs. Capcom. Plays like a fight. You know, I. I and think the I'll, internet's wondering what the fuck is up with Chung Lee because. She looks weird. Chun Li looks real weird. She got them big old thighs, but she has like a little tiny head. She, she look. They, they've been doing her that. character model looks really. They've weird. been doing that to her since like Street Fighter Four. Yeah, like she looks odd. odd, odd. I think they were like trying to emphasize like, "Who well, she got big legs to kick so fast?" But like they did it really well in Street Fighter Two. Yeah, yeah. It, she just she looks odd. People are like, "What the fuck's going on with Chun Li?" It looks good. I do. I got my I, ass I, kicked by. I think you're supposed to, aren't you? You're supposed to. Yeah. He's, he starts blocking everything. Yeah. Because I was like, there's no way you're blocking every single hit. Thor kind of sucks. <laughs> Neither here or there. You'll see if you play it. Um, it's free. Go super, download it. Go check super it out. fun characters to play and are pretty fucking badass. Uh, Dante, again, because he was really good in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Like, yeah, I was like just throwing combos out. I'm like, I didn't even fucking know I did that. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon's kind of fun to play as, and fucking Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins. I was yeah, like, I was like, this is cool. He's he's, he's racking shop. He was a Mega Man plays his he plays Mega really Man, cool. Mega Man, I would have to practice a bit with Mega Man. He, yeah, he has a lot of combo he, he, like he, swipe moves. You get him stuff. in a combo, he's really good, but he's a little slow too. But he's not bad. Actually, it was kind of kicking ass with Chris Redfield for a second. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the the characters all play good, but like the character, some of the models I, are I a little I think, odd looking. I think Thor was my least favorite, like model and playable character. Why did they? The, I why, don't know why. Why didn't they just make him look like Chris Evans? Why? Why couldn't you look like Chris Evans? I don't know. <laughs> I'm frightening you, mighty Hulk. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Captain America looked kind of stupid. Well, not so much looked stupid. He sounded kind of stupid. Yeah. Sorry if you voice act Captain America and you ever listen to my show, but then I know we're famous and fuck you anyway. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we're we're nobody. But I was like, hmm, he sounds really dumb. I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of work was put into it, but I'm so used to. You said Chris Evans. Chris Evans is Captain America. Yeah, never mind. What I uh, can't remember his name. Not Chris. Chris Evans plays Captain America, and then like, whoever the dude plays. I, I'm Thor. like, couldn't you just get like. Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and yeah, just a voice, just play him one. F- I can't remember his name. I can't either. Don't know. Go- the- oh, thank Google's typing in the like, computer checking. He's just do 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 do. It's just bothering me. What does it say, computer? What does it say, computer? Okay, while while Jake is doing that, I E three thinking about it. Just th- as this is an overview, we're just gonna overview. Chris really. Hemsworth. It, it was a Chris. It was a Chris. I was half was right. Chris. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, I mean, he, he that was half right. I mean, overview of E3, um, it was decent. Like we said, uh, at, like a week out from it and actually thinking about it and all the announcements. And I don't know why people say that Nintendo won E3 because they dropped some huge bombs. 
and that's about it. Which I think that's what E3's about, is just... Letting you know. Yeah, just, just surprises. Everyone else had a good, strong showing, other than EA's travesty. I gotta, like, I gotta say, uh, but I still Sony fanboy. They I, showed I, they had a good, solid show. It wasn't mind blowing. It didn't blow you away. My, I didn't cream my jeans, to, so to speak. But I mean, it was still what they showed was awesome. Like the 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 clips of God of War, fantastic. I mean, the show the Spider Man footage from Spider Man, like the the demo. And apparently that was a playable demo. It, people it, people played that at E3. And even Days Gone. And Days Gone, yeah. It all I'm looked not even really a, good. I'm it was not a even good like solid. A, I don't... I've never played Uncharted. I've said this before. But even that looked good. Lost Legacy looks... I'll prob, I'm probably going to get it as an Uncharted fan. I'm probably going to get it. Don't you have all of them? You don't have four, do you? N- no, I don't have... I, don't, I have four. I have four. I don't you have, have uh, one, two, or three on the PS4. You, I played them you, on the PS3. You've, you've played yes. them all. Yes. So like you you know the story and yeah. everything. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they always bring it. I know they cuz I actually watched our episode last night about E3 or most of it and I was like I want to rewatch and see what I said and it still kind of holds now. Yeah. It was solid. I mean it's everyone did a good showing. It was good. Microsoft, uh, again, Microsoft's like, only fumble. Only fumble was the announcement of their hardware. They're like, hey, there's the Xbox One X. But we're not going to sell it. And that's about it. Like, nothing was... I don't understand why they saved that for E3. no exclusivity to the the Bone X. Yeah. Period. Just wasn't. Yeah. I mean, it just... That's the only thing I think that people talk about Microsoft. And they just kind of fumbled the ball on a hardware announcement, which would have should have been a incredible grand event. Because I remember when they announced, like, the Xbox One, or the Xbox, and it, they had, like, this big TV presentation and everything, and it was live-streamed, and they had a big tent, and then the Xbox One, they had Cirque du Soleil and shit when they announced that and showed it off. The th- I mean, they usually make... You make a spectacle out of a hardware release. You kind of just don't... But it, but it was... I guess it's not a big hardware release. It's not the Xbox Two. It's just the Xbox One X. It's just a higher-grade premium product. Than what you already have, which is funny because like the Xbox One S is supposed well, to be the competing pre- is supposed to be the competing factor toward the PS4 Pro. Yeah, and then they're trying to take that same like oh 4K. I get it, but they're trying to take that further. Yeah, this is true 4K. And anyone who really cares about all that stuff, they probably own a PC. They're not going to get an get one. I don't want to harp too much. I don't want to stick yeah. too much on E3. Yeah. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments or anything, we have a video. You can watch our E3. It's uh, it's um, named for Chris because he said it's called "Thank You, uh, Thank Nintendo. Yeah Thank Thank You Base Nintendo Gods." So that's 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 what that episode. Is. Just check it out, comment, like, hit that like button, thumbs up, notification, subscribe, all that good shit. All that. Aww. I forgot to say uh, thank you for Ronnie Fox for subscribing too. Thank you, Ronnie. So I forgot about that. So I'll throw that in there. Okay, so. Like I said, we're we're gonna do um we're gonna run through the releases of July. Correct? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Everything got moved. I'm just gonna do what you need. It's there. Okay. Well, I'm just. You've got them all there. Yeah, and also have the MPDs. You can keep that up, and then you can do this. You can do it. Your host, just like me, Jake. You can do it. I'm tired. I get tired. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so tired of carrying your bullshit. <laughs> Getting hammy. I've got ten more beers. No, I have eleven more beers waiting for me at home. We only brought six. I bought. I only have like twenty more beers in there. Bought an 18 back. It's hard to pass up $16.50 for a 30 pack. It is. I should have done that because I spent that much getting my 18 pack, but Hams, Hams makes me feel bloated. Really, really bloated. And I was like, I want Coors Light. Coors Light's good. It's, yeah. I only bought it because it was cheap. She's like, we can't spend any money. I'm like, but I want beer. And I'm like, the cheapest op- option. For the most quality quantity is hams. It is. Yeah, that's why I'm like thirty beers for sixteen bucks. I'm like, uh, Miller makes a twenty pack now. I, just, I don't know if I can do Miller anymore after that night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
All right. <laughs> One. I'll bring it in. Fuck it. Two. Three. So, the releases of July. 2017. 2017. Coming at you. And we should have like a thing come in. It's just like, blah, blah, blah. looks like the Super Bowl. Except except we won't. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit this and I'm a little, I'm not. No, it's not. I use the term lazy. But it's just I don't know how, and I really don't want to take the time to research it and put that for it. Because then Jake would have to make a graphic and all this other stuff, and no, we're not yeah, doing that. Yeah, it's just so for July first release date. July. What I've got here is July 11th. We have Final Fantasy 12: The Zodiac Age for PS4. Is it coming to the PC also, or is it just it PS4? just says PS4? It might already be on PC. So it's the remaster remake of Final Fantasy. 11. 12, right? I believe so. Yeah. What is it? XV? X, XII? Yeah, 12. 12. Final Fantasy 12, yeah. With <clears throat> Vaughn, Von Rastenberg, and all that other shit. <sighs> yeah. I'm not, this is probably my least favorite Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Me, I've never really played it. I've seen it. I'm like, mm. I've, I played it. I just don't like it. I just don't. I, I, I don't. I just don't like it. I'll tell There's you, a lot of people who are excited for it. And I'm like, I probably won't pick it up. I'll tell you about another game you're not going to like. Fable Fortune for Xbox One and PC on it, the same day. It's a card game. Card game. A fable. Next. Since <laughs> Lionhead Studio doesn't exist anymore, and I guess they're going to milk that IP for what it's worth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles on PS4, July 18th. Not familiar with this game. But that is uh, yeah, you go uh, a release. Can... Uh, let me see here. On July twentieth, we have Layton's Mystery Journey, and I believe that is uh, the Professor Layton series for iOS and Android. I was trying to look up uh, info of of Yonder, and I'm I'm just not not finding anything. July twenty first, though, this is going to get a lot of people. Shaken up. Splatoon 2 comes out. Now, personally, I've never been a big Splatoon fan. I know there's a lot of, like, stuff going on with it. There's a lot of the, the, the tournament stuff. Yeah, yeah. They they crowned a champion. I think they had crowned an arms champion and a Splatoon champion at the... Uh, Treehouse. Yeah, the Nintendo Treehouse. The Nintendo event at E3. The first one. Uh, I found Yonder. The uh, Yonder... Uh, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles is an open world adventure game set across a beautiful, vibrant island. Will plant its roots on the PS4 and Steam on July the 18th. Yonder is set on a massive island of Gimma, a lush frontier with eight distinct environments ranging from sunny tropical beaches to frigid snow capped summits. Each location has its own flora and fauna, along with changing se- seasons and a day and night cycle. Gimma, once a paradise, still maintains the appearance of one, yet an evil murk has enshrouded the land and its people in despair. By contributing to the island through talents like farming, crafting, cooking, fishing, and brewing, relationships can be built with locals who offer everything from resources to a new farm as a reward. Okay. Hmm. I I don't know who the developer is. I, it seems like a uh, the people who make the, the dark, not dark cloud, the farming, whatever the game, Harvest Moons. Harvest Moon, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. July 25th, we have Fate Extella the Umbral Star for the Switch. Uh, the Fate uh, Fate Extilia games are usually uh, visual novels. And then also we have Pyre, which is on PS4 PC. And that name sounds so familiar. And that is, that's it? That's it for the year? No, we have two more games. Uh, this is stupid. On the 27th... Uh, Dangan Rapa. Dangan Rapa. Dangan Rapa. V3. Another, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls PC. So, oh, okay. Dangan Rapa, Ultra Despair Girls. It's a spinoff between Dangan Rapa 1 and 2. Dangan Rapa is a really, really niche, uh, niche, however you want to call it. Uh, is it pervy? No, no, no. Okay. Um, It's a visual novel slash mystery game. Like where the okay. Dang and Rapa games are really cool because you you play this character who gets who goes to this uh this school and you this school is the best of the best of the best like the best brightest smartest people and someone gets murdered someone is murdered and there's a teddy bear Monokuma uh, and he's like you all you have to find out who the murderer is and each day you're in there longer and if you pit the wrong uh you as it goes on 
other people will die. Okay. So it's Clue. Yeah. Okay. It's it's like one of those uh, mystery, you know, branching storyline games and stuff. They're really cool. I'm into it. I've never really... I played a little bit of it, and I was just like, it's not my cup of tea. All right. Then the next day, July 28th, the last release that I have here for July is Hey Pikmin. So it's in May month for me. Honestly. Yes, agreed. I am uh, going to Wikipedia for the Pyre video game. Oh, shit. What? I just looked at August. <laughs> oh, yeah. August has Hellblade. It's like one of the first games that comes out in the, August. Uh, <laughs> Okay, August we I'm I don't care. I'm just I'm just excited. We got we got Hellblade, we got Lawbreakers, Mega Man Legacy Collection two. Yeah. Which is a probably six, seven, eight, nine. I thought it was gonna be the X series. No. Damn it. No, it's me- still Mega Man. It's not Mega Man X collection or <sighs> legacy collection. So- I have they need to fucking do that. I've got the Mega Man collection. Okay. Pyre, if you want to know. Pyre, developer. Publisher, Super Giant Games. That ring a bell? It's an action RPG. I, I know that company. I've heard that company. <laughs> they got a lot of games coming out next month. Uh, so, Pyre, the game takes uh, place in a high fantasy setting. The player controls a character who is exiled and meets three other exiles who, upon finding the character, the player character is literate. That's what it says. Upon finding the player character is literate, having them join their party and name them the reader to... Oh, so you're the only one who can read? Uh, so you name the characters the reader to help them travel the land of purgatory looking to cleanse their souls by defeating other exiles. The story is told through on-screen narrative passages that include a hyperlink type system used by the player character to explore the story further. Mm. Oh, wait. It's the guys who made Transistor. Oh, shit. And, and that's who it was. That's why, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's why it sounds familiar. And Bastion. And Bastion, yeah. Which got a, it got an award. Bastion got an award for best soundtrack. I will always remember that because that game's music was fucking great. Apparently there's local multiplayer and uh, two-player co-op and all okay. that other stuff, so. That okay, yeah. I knew a pyre sound familiar, and does, I heard there yeah. was a good buzz around it, and that's why I'm like, it sounds familiar. I have to look it up. So, yeah. yeah, super giant, g- really good pedigree, really good legacy. So, so there you go, folks. That it, is July in a nutshell, and, and a little bit of August, a little, a little, August. little tease, a little, a little just, jiggling, just the tip of August. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get that pencil out of here. Okay, so like I was saying, the NPDs have been released for May. If you don't know, the NPDs are it's a website. They compile all the data for all the games sold for the month that usually releases the 15th of the following month. So this is for May. So this is from IGN.com. I was going to say we should do the top five. There's 10 of them, oh, and there's no of- there's no thing. So the top 10 best-selling games for May, okay, according to the NPD group. <laughs> cool shit flashing. No, no. I'm lazy. Injustice 2. That's number one. That's a surprise. It really I've actually, I've actually... Uh, seen like the how you it can looks customize. so good. Like I've seen the gameplay. I've seen the how you can customize your character. I've seen yeah. what you have to do to actually level up your character. Do you know you can get armor in the game that actually contributes to your character's stats? That's cool for defense attack. That's awesome. I'm like, oh, so it is like an RPG, but it's a They're, fighting game. But it's a fighting game. But there's a reason to get the costumes. Dope. That's what I said. Um, Mario Kart Eight is at number two. No surprise. Which actually kind of is a surprise with the. You mean, is it number? This is the top ten best selling. I don't know if okay. they're in any particular order. Okay, so we're just going through. But I think they are in in order. So Mario Kart Eight is number two. Grand Theft Auto Five. Still, it's always on there. Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild at four. Prey, twenty seventeen. Right. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. That's a surprise. That is a surprise. Didn't that come out in June? No, no Wildlands came out in March, right? Or April. I want to say March. I think it came out in March, yeah. It it came out, it didn't come out in May. I know that. Uh, Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, 3DS game. I don't, I don't, uh, NBA 2K7. NBA games, the 2K games always chart every fucking time. We told you how it should be done. You should make one fucking NBA, 2K, whatever. You pay like, and then you pay to get the new playable characters for the season. The roster update, and then maybe every like two or three years you update visual graphics or something like that. Next time the engine, something like that, and then MLB 17, the show, and then Overwatch. Still, yeah, it's there. It's still charting. Okay, so IGN uh, it says of the games making the top ten, Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild. Uh, uh, it says these do not include overall digital sales. Uh, software dollar sales in May 2017 fell 20%, according to the MPD, and they are saying due to the release of last year, 
with Uncharted and Doom releasing last year at in May. Uh, so so far, the best selling games of 2017 are still Just basing up year to date. Yeah, it's still Ubisoft's Ghost Recon Wildlands and For Honor with Breath of the Wild coming in third. So that's the top selling games of 2017 so far. Those four, four honors so bad. <laughs> and so uh, many people bought it. Like, yeah. But notice how it's not top I wanna selling. Play, yeah, I want to play four honor with boats. I really do. I kind of want to check it out. I want to check that out. Skull and skull and bone. Lull and loans. That's how boring <laughs> that game sounds. <laughs> Groan and moans. Groan and moans. That would be a fun game. We should make that game. Is it a porn game? Is it one of them Duh. fucking games? Yeah, it's on one of them fucking Echi- games. Ichigo, Echio? Game Jolt. Or game Jolt. All of them. Just, yeah, yeah. I want to see P and V. I want to B my L on someone's T's. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> That's good. That's good. All right, so, the, and then finally, the last of the article says, while hardware spending was up 7%, overall spending was down 11% compared to May 2016. So that's it. That's all IGN had to say about the MPDs. We don't get them. I'm sure the MPDs are actually like broke down and they're really thorough and stuff. I don't get them, so I don't get to see them. Yeah. You got to sign up for that shit. Nah, I'm nobody. We're nobody. We can't really sign up for anything. So that. Except. We don't have a big main donor topic. card. We don't have a big main topic. No. Is there something that's just been itching? Just been itching? Just Is there something on the top of your head? Like something that's been irking you? My asshole. Other than that. Nah. Like a just a. Just gonna be- I mean, honestly, no. I mean, we've. I'm waiting for the games to come. Yeah, we're in this and, lull. And, we're and, in this calm before the storm. Like, really are. So, I mean, I'm on. Like I said, I am catching up on some games that I need to finish to enjoy what's gonna come. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I fucked up. Well, it's just who I am, and, and I, I gotta, and how- I gotta keep my head clear because make sure my roster is clear because come September eighth. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to figure I'm, this out we're, because we're, I'm gonna have another child, and it's gonna be a little difficult. So I don't know what when, we're gonna when, do. Archer's born the 11th. Is due the 11th, September. Yes, and it comes out. They actually did Bungie move the date two days. It's coming out September the 6th. They moved it two dates, two days up. I saw that on here. Yes, they moved it but two days up. I was up. like, was that a mistake? The, originally, when they did the whole you know release thing, it said September, September the 8th, 8th, and now they've re- moved it up to the 6th. Well, I'm getting Destiny 2 in September. I'm Grant's st- going. I'm, to probably, I'm going to get it. I will play it. And then he's going to have another child. So we're yeah. going to be busy people because my. But this podcast will go on. The show will go on. Show will we go will on. be here. I my, will be here. My birthday is in September. My brother's birthday is in September, and my daughter's birthday is in September. See, what your brother can do is he can buy you Destiny Two, and then you can buy him Destiny Two. No, or you just buy each other Destiny Two. The only thing we've ever done has been like. <laughs> Here, I'll buy you alcohol. I'll buy you alcohol. And then got to a point where like, we'll just won't buy each other alcohol and buy ourselves alcohol and say happy birthday to each other. <laughs> yeah, that if works. I, if I, and again, if I bought him Destiny Two, and he bought me Destiny Two, he's like, why don't you just buy yourself Destiny Two? And I bought myself. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> that, that it was a re It was another joke of that because I knew that story about Jake and the alcohol. So yeah, it's a lot. So yes, but. Within uh, come August, we're gonna have all kinds of games to fucking talk about. Yeah, I'm stoked. And then Hellblade is dropped. I think you can pre order it right now for I didn't, thirty dollars. Yeah, I didn't play Arms. I'm sorry, I haven't picked it up. I want to. I want to play it. It's getting good reviews. And eventually, Jake will have a Switch. I'm gonna have a Switch whenever so I can get one. He'll have a big meaty PC. I have it. Like his cock. Man. He will. He, I said he has one. Yeah. And big meaty cock, not a PC. I have both. <laughs> Can I have both? A PlayStation 4 and a Switch. Actually, Newegg has a deal that I was going through. If you buy a 1080, a GTX 1080, you get a copy of Destiny 2 for PC. But you're also spending $850. <laughs> yeah, so not, maybe uh, I spent yeah. $230 or $60 yeah. for the GTX 1060, and it's phenomenal. Yeah. But that TI though, I don't need it. I know it's no. You, I don't need it either. But I want it. Call this want episode it. right now. Yeah. This is bullshit. <laughs> so yeah, this has been episode ninety one. Yeah. I'm Graham McClure, Brigadoon Doom five six four on the PlayStation Network and on Twitter. You can check us out. Check the podcast out on Twitter, Facebook, uh, anywhere and everywhere. We're go go 
Except for YouTube. We are the Go-Go Show. We're the Go-Go Show. Everywhere else is just typing Game Over Game On. We're there. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Yep. Go into the group. Post some shit. You got some game news, something you want to talk about? Talk to people. That's what it's there for. It's there. It's made there. We post some things every once in a while. But it's there for the community to talk to each other. Make sweet, sweet mouth love. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong know. making lo- mouth love. And I am Maverick Hunter. I am Jacob Lay. I am Maverick Hunter J on Twitter. Maverick Hunter Zero on PlayStation Network. And steam actually so i'm I'm bringing in also on steam so i mean my switch i could tell you but it's just a bunch of garbled fucking numbers and letters because you can't search for anybody on nintendo platforms without a fucking 12 digit code and stupid get with the times nintendo god they're trying but (sighs) you can find me there with any of that if you want to ever play games with me i'm i might be chilling in some rocket league here for a while and playing some shadows some mordor come play some destiny with us but real we we are going real i I really love the idea of making a go-go clan yeah that'd be awesome that'd be dope so we will see the party system, the clans, the options when that comes out. Oh yeah, I'd love to play. We're gonna people. make we're gonna make a goddamn flag and we're gonna raise yeah. it high, hey, raise it high, and look at rubber dicks all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, episode ninety one of Game Over Game One. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for loving, squeezing, touching, feeling, all that good stuff. Tell us what you've been doing, playing, touching, feeling, squeezing. Thank. You, tell yeah. us what you think of the lineup of July. You can hit us up on Twitter. Comment on the Facebook. Do you think it's a weak lineup? I do. Yeah. We might. We're kind of in the works of trying to figure out stuff with Twitch maybe coming back. I don't know. We'll we'll tell you on Twitter. Follow us there for all that news. We'll see. So, 91, thank you for doing what you do. Like us on YouTube. Subscribe. Rate us on iTunes and Google Play and all that stuff. Helps other people find us. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your cat, grandma, lamp, all that good shit. I like how lamp is always thrown in. (laughs) And keyboard cat. Don't forget keyboard cat. (laughs) We shall never. No. But thank you so much, guys. We love you. Yeah. Love, peace, chicken grease. See you.